It's not dropping frames, it is optimizing it. Excellent, this is good. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say these guys have the idea. It's probably literally just come straight back here. And let's just try and make sure we're out of these guys' way when they go down the line. Yeah, he's going. Sorry if I'm in your way. Alright, I don't think we're going to catch any of their slipstreams, so this might be too early. There's someone that slowed down... no, there's not. Nope, that was it. There we go. Pretty much max speed with Nitro Chem. I think maybe you could get a few Ks, but Nitro Chem, Frenetic, all the icon boosts and stuff like that. 631. <laughs> it's going to be hard to get too much better than that without slipstream. And that was just easy one try from that direction, so no worries really. Um, obviously people up higher, these guys up here would have slipstreamed. Put it up, someone's changed, changed their, their name. That was pretty good, just as is. Ari, what's up? How are you doing? Welcome on in. <laughs> to yet another, uh, <laughs> Summit consisting of sillies. Here we are taking our hypercar and we are going around uh, all of these little objects to get points off road in a bit of an interesting area. Definitely not meant for a hypercar, but we have a little slidey area here. Go around here, nice and simple, and then just don't get myself confused here, which I did before. Ran these workers over because they're still in the way. <laughs> and they don't want to get out of the way until the last possible minute. And then here we go. And we're coming up to the grand finale. A jumpo. I probably could have saved my my nostrils till the end when we we're on that dirt road to be honest, and that would have been a better um better accelerating finish. There we go. Another second try right after the speed trap. Could do better. Oh yeah, the Hummer, of course. Hummer's good with this. Well, my best hypercar by far. Easier and simpler if you start off with one game and just go with that. And then I suppose... Alright, get some speed up. And approach this way because we went the exact wrong way to start off beforehand. Keep an eye on the map because that tells you where you're going. Oh, 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 there we go. Not clean, but it's going good. Probably could have saved Nos, to be fair. Especially for some of these like straighter areas out here, we can really pick up your speed. There we go. Not bad. Just under a thousand off of the best score so far. So, it's pretty alright. 155. Cool. Yeah, hey, same as, same as other times, we're just behind the tryhards. Um, still in front of quite a few others, so that's, that's pretty good. Could maybe try hard and do better, but... I am okay with the first round, but it's just like, but I know, I know I could get that a little bit more. And like, the good thing about not doing the summit straight away is then I have all, I have all stream to do it this time. If I feel like I really want to go for, go for some improvements. I don't have to be like, oh yeah, like, um... You know, I've got like two hours and that's it, and then I got a gap completely. <laughs> Ooh, I'm surprised I got that one. I 
There we go, that's the angle we need. That is the ideal angle. Still might have taken me too long to actually do that. Um, do that loopy loopy thingy, the half turn. But, you know, we cut as early as we can. But our ghosts are still keeping up with us, so yeah, we definitely didn't shave too much time off of it. It's still like weaving right by us, so we haven't shaved any time off. Oh, just got that one. There we go. There we go. No screw ups, all perfect. So we should save two seconds, point the tiniest little bit. That's the run we need. <laughs> sure, with tiny other things we could do better, but that's. That is satisfied. This is good. In between pro and end brain score, so yeah, <laughs> happy. A lovely day. You've caught up with all your um. How you all doing? I'm still in that ahead. All right, I'll give you a sec. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. Good. We just restarted a race, so, you know, we're 10 seconds in. We ran around that one corner pretty much and passed those guys. Um, <laughs> it's interesting asking beforehand, I guess, if, um, you know, you can't even hear what other people are answering. Um, yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing good. Not quite the first person, though. It is, it is hard to do that. You kind of gotta, uh, sit in the sit on like the twitch page ready for me to press the go live button and then you can be first sometimes you don't have to but it seems like when i when i say i'm gonna go live in discord people are like all right i'll be there like a few minutes early and that way i'll see as soon as it goes on corner that's right don't overshoot it this time all right um yeah no 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 i'm doing good have you caught up with all your classwork then you're not you're not behind on any lectures or um, courses or anything? Assignments? I got um, I got a pretty major thing uh, fixed today <laughs> that um, wasn't working for a while and it makes quite a big difference. Just an inconvenience, like it's fine otherwise but you know, you're pretty uncivilized without running water. You can just um, put a put something under a tap and get water, right? Like if you've got to if you've got to go about it other ways to get water, <laughs> you're just having a quick puffin. All right, all good, dude. All good. We get to drive the lovely Cadillac Cyclone. Look at this thing. It's um, it's beautiful. I love it. Um, I'll just only show you on the streets. Shop water? No, 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 just like the water pump itself. So like, you can still get water from gravity and stuff, but you can't get it from inside because, um, you know, the water is not pumping without leaking water out. Um, so I just have like an outside way of getting to it and then it's, it's fine. It's just, you know, it's a bit backwards for a lot of people. Here we go, save 10 seconds from the first run. <laughs> Much better. Right behind M. Brian's time. So yeah, that's probably closer to where I should have been. Something in that kind of territory. It wouldn't be like top, top, top. Um, Because I feel like CPUs, CPU RAM is actually the most important when it comes to streaming. Like GPU, yes, is also is important, but that's kind of more so you can play on the higher settings. Um, my GPU isn't struggling as much as like CPU and RAM are um, a lot of the times right now, just because yeah, like low settings, it's fine, and then you're just sending a a stream preview, I guess. Um, you're just doing a bit of encoding, so 
um, that's not too too difficult and the encoding can be done with the CPU so if you get a really good CPU that seems to be more ideal I reckon 1080s are great are they? okay you have a 1050 but it works way too good for its card really? like you easy 1000 frames in modded Minecraft? I'm gonna assume that's a hundred not a thousand Surely that is not, um, surely that's not a thousand frames, that's crazy, that's so overkill. Oops, we whacked the boat. Maybe this will be just as good as our first run now. And we should have saved our NOS a bit better, but it's still fine. 100 frames, yeah. Yeah, which is, which is plenty, isn't it? It is a thousand frames? Sheesh. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's definitely more than enough then, isn't it? Some would say it's it's um pretty damn good. <laughs> okay, I think it was a slight improvement from the first. I think major could maybe get a second off. Yeah, point one. Could maybe shave it down to one forty five. Um, we could get down to this kind of time here, but we'll, we'll leave it at that. Um, we found out that they had $3,500, $3,500. Crazy, right? Alright. Crazy good breaking expo. Let's do it. I have... I have pro tuned this so that the brakes aren't actually as strong as they are stock because they're just too damn strong so sometimes they just like slow down way too much um because because i just like press on the brakes and it's like oh no you're going like 60 k's now and it does like snap quite a bit when you oh even without braking but it does snap when you brake and turn at the same time so is that as well. We well, need the best cooling in the world for that. For the uh, uh, 3090. Really? You would think it would come with some pretty damn good cooling though, right? Like, if the only people that are going to be using it are the really, really, really high-end people. Seems weird that it, they just wouldn't stop give it some really good cooling and then, you know, aftermarket people would be like, well, if you're going to overclock it, you know, up your cooling to this kind of thing. Oops, see, too much breaking there. RTX 3060, uh, 1500, oh yeah. RTX 3090, for an extra 30 numbers, it's a whole 2k more, roughly. Um... I mean, it's more than just 30 numbers, right? Like, the 30 si series, 60 would probably be entry level. Uh, 80 would be, or 70 would be mid. 80 would be high, and then 90 is just like, this is the best that you can ever get kind of thing. And when you're paying for, like, the absolute, absolute best, you always pay way more than a pr of a premium. So, you know, if you're thinking about trying to get value out of your money, Never go top top spec. Always go like one or two down, and it'll it's better. It'll save you more money than you'll get performance out of it, kind of thing. Um, that's my my general understanding of how things work. The dream cooling system is two k. What, like the actual cooling setup costs two grand. Far out. I just use fans. Just air power. You'll never get it because it's just aesthetics, but it looks cool. Okay, fair enough. It's like, if, if I had all the money, this is the cool way I would make my computer kind of thing. That's, that's a lot of what it is.
Oh, you'll still never get it. Okay. I guess in that case, it's one of those things where, um, you know, it's not even the best cooling setup. It just looks better than most of the others out there. That was a good, good corner. It only cools two things. Oh, so it's not even a complete system cooler or anything. Alright, no idea how that relates as a time. But it beats 4.42, so yay. By like almost a minute. Okay, pretty decent. One, two, three. Ooh, a whole set of six or seven parts. Eight. A lot off of Embrain, so yeah, could do a lot better. Huh. And we were like, yeah, we'll be done by bit five runs, but... Not if we want to do good, good. We want to do decent, yes. Oh, you can't let you can't let me beating your score happen, Switch. <laughs> I guess you'll have to jump back on and do a little bit better, then, right? Keep on keeping improving. That is the way of the summit. Wait, maybe you could usually cut and they've changed checkpoints. Maybe that's what it is. I swear there used to be other um, other options of paths you could take. You did the long way. That's all good, dude. It just means you can come back into it and you can um, you know, definitely improve your time now that you know it's a long way. You know, that's the great thing about watching someone else do the summit, right? You can be like, oh, look, he took a different path. I didn't realize I could take that path. And then, you know, you go back and all of a sudden your score's a lot better and you're like, hey, there we go. More points for me. Maybe an easy plat, who knows. Oops, don't cut that one, cut that one. Yeah, so first lap we could have cut more. Second lap we cut there. I think it's a very similar to run four though. I don't think it's any better. Oh no, three seconds better. Yeah. Seventh run. Acceptable. I'm okay with that. It's just Forza Horizon 4 but no open world. I wouldn't say that, Twitch. I believe it's a lot more simulator based. Um it's all tracks and stuff. Um, yeah, this thing looks pretty nice. Maybe I sh Oh yeah, it's already got fenders, it's fine. No need to customize it if it's already got fenders. And more cars. Really? Horizon 4 already has a lot of cars though. That's quite a thing to say. That it's got even more cars than Horizon does. Oh, I overshot it. Oh, this is the Jeep course. The Jeep Wrangler that we did in the summit a while ago. I'll let you know how the external drive goes. Yeah. Please do. So you're going to be playing it on an external, which means you have to have that external plugged in constantly whenever you want to play? That seems inconvenient. <laughs> I suppose it is such a big game though that like if you're just playing it occasionally and not like constantly it makes sense. I like this car. Good car. You have enough ports? That's good. I don't. <laughs> Laptops don't get the luxury of like 8 or 10 ports unfortunately. I still have a good amount but just not, you know. Enough for a gamer. For a casual, perfectly fine. Especially if I was using like a wire wireless mouse and keyboard that use one kind of connection or they use Bluetooth. Then I'd be sweet. Also you can just go to my friends who don't have it and play. That's true. 
Yeah, good idea. I hadn't thought about that. That's a cool way of doing it. And then just, yeah, take over your external, take your controller, and there you go. <laughs> Be right back. Gonna go play with friends right now. <laughs> I know that's not what you said, but I'll see you when you get back. When you're a minute in front and it's only been two and a half minutes. Because <laughs> normal AI can't get up to the speed. So they really struggle. So yeah, this this race requires a lot of slipstreaming if you're going to do like the best of the best because of how much open space there is. And roads and stuff. But you can still do a decent fuel without it. Like, that's sub 3. I think that's pretty decent. I think 250 is like real good though. And we did screw up one corner pretty badly. But we still got the 122, and 122 is not bad. It's a, it's a pretty achievable score. A pretty good score, I should say.